are the coal miners from Cape Breton Isle. The son of a Cape Breton coal miner, Don McVicker was a natural-born strongman. My dad uh, was a massive man, uh, five foot six and 180 pounds of solid muscle, and he can lift any appliance in the house, and so I guess I've inherited that. For 23 years, McVicar's strength remained untapped. It wasn't until a fateful jog at the Hamilton waterfront changed everything. I was running by the Leander Boat Club in 1978 and happened to see some uh, power lifters there doing their stuff. and. They, I asked, how do you do it? And they said, well, why don't you give it a try? And I tried it, and they said, can you come back on Monday? Because you just broke the Canadian record in the deadlift. So uh, they said, I think you just made the Canadian team. Within a year, he was competing at the World Championships. The demanding training could be redundant, but McVicker always found joy in a half-hour TV show on at the gym. Our greatest joy was entertainment tonight in the gym. We would, uh, Friday night was quite funny, we have a lot of good camaraderie. So that was the joy of, of powerlifting, because mostly it's uh, you know, watching like paint dry. With increased strength came weight. McVicar's biggest challenge was managing his size to make the 52 kilo weight class. Six weeks out from a competition, he would lose 12 pounds. The last two days before the event, he would not drink any liquids, but sometimes that wasn't enough. I was in the Kent State Boiler Room in uh, 19, 80 with three jackets on and running for two and a half hours prior to up and down the stairs in this boiler room and I lost uh, three and a half pounds during that time went in and started lifting within a half hour and then won the North American Championship so worked out well but took a lot to get there. McVicker would lift for only 58 months. During that time, he won 17 gold medals at competitions, broke 38 Canadian powerlifting records, and was never defeated in Canada. However, he could never escape the same inevitable question from friends. Being a weightlifter, you always get asked to help move people. So I joyfully did that many times, and there was one time that the fellow said, Don, can you help me move this piano for my daughter? So. Never moved a piano before, but could lift it. So as I made this three, 400 pound lift, it seemed to be manageable and I pulled it up and all of a sudden my pants split and we got the piano in the house and I sort of backed out and got in my car and drove home. Helping others has always been in his blood. For over 30 years, his record stood, but his biggest lift was raising the hopes of his community. 25 years ago, Don and his wife Carol started the St. David's Inner City Ministry. They've provided programs ranging from Bible studies to family dinners, craft nights to recreational activities. Having the joy of kids that participate in a sport that they love. With all my heart and with all my joy, seeing a child play floor hockey or seeing a child play football or baseball and providing a, a glove or a bat or a ball, anything like that, if I could do that till my last breath on earth, that is my joy. The Hamilton Sports Hall of Fame welcomes Don McVicker.